Welcome back ladies and gentlemen. I hope a lot of you watch this video because the amount of time I spent trying to remake this video over and over again. Because I get carried away a lot. Too easily. So I'm going to show you how to make an APK file using ARM 3D and ARM Android Studios. Now why are we going to do that? Because in my previous video I already showed you how to build this APK file without Android Studio. So it's directly in house. Well, actually it makes sense because Android Studio allows you to sign your APK using a key store that you would have made. And uh, well, that's really useful because that's the only thing Google Play Store accepts, a signed APK or an AAB um, app bundle, uh, which is signed as well, obviously. And uh, the reason Android Studio only accepts signed APK files is that it has to well know that you are the rightful owner. It's not just an app that you just took, and it's also security reasons and a bunch of other things like that. The point is, Army Studios, Army Studios, Army 3D does not allow you. Well, it doesn't have the um, feature to allow in-house sign-in, which is fine. It doesn't matter that much because you already have in-house building, so it allows you to test your APK files. Once again, you can go check out that tutorial link in the description to build APK files directly with Armory. But without any hesitation, let's get right into the tutorial. We see here in the Armory tab, the render tab, our Armory exporter. We're going to add a new target, set it to Android, Android here. We're going to remove the desktop render path because we don't want that. And we're in the desktop render path down here, Render path. We're going to set this to mobile. Once you have this set to mobile, you have a bunch of other options here, such as post processing, compositing, voxel, which is obviously awesome. <laughs> and we're going to add a post, pro post processing. Set the dynamic resolution, which allows you to obviously uh, scale um, the, the resolution for depending on your device performance which is great so you don't have as much lag so I highly recommend you check that and I also check Bloom because I like Bloom Bloom's nice and we can close the render path we have our orientation of our screen now the only reason that's really important in this case is because I actually have a portrait game for Android so I'm going to set this to portrait but if your uh, game can be flexible and be any you would set it to multi and I'm going to set the uh, um, leave the uh, uh, SDK versions as they are because they seem fine. And uh, just noting, Android uh, Android Studios. I'm losing my words. The Google Play Store only accepts uh, uploaded APK files or app bundles of 29 SDK version or higher. So, as in t uh, 29, 30, or 31 which are the only ones that you'd really upload. So leave it at 29 and you will be good. Now this is quite important, a icon, because that's how you're going to tell your app apart. I'm going to set a, yeah, I'm going to set my a basic army icon that I'm quite proud of. <laughs> and I'm going to set the render path to mobile, which is what we created previously. Now, the name of our game would be whatever the name of the game is. The package would be, yeah, leave it arm. Arm for armory. And the bundle would be something like com dot whatever your name is, as in your name, and uh, dot whatever the name of your game is, as in your game name. Yeah. So if you fill out those blanks with whatever your current project and current name is, you'll be good. Uh, although that's not law, obviously, that's just the best thing that people say you should do, and I agree with it, because the Google Play Store only accepts unique package names. So if you put com.trump, then there's a quite high chance that somebody already has that package name on the Google Play Store. And if that is the case, then well, your app will be rejected, saying that you have to have a unique name. Although your actual name that will be available can be the same as another game, obviously. It's just the identifier of that app, of that web, of that current page, uh, which has to be unique. And we are going to publish our game directly. 
you can see it's publishing and we can open our system console now in the system console you'll be able to see what's going on and it's currently exporting the scene it's uh, publishing it and it's finished that's fast and we have here the files. Now there is no APK file here because unlike the previous tutorial we need to build it ourselves and create a key store so we can upload it to Google, to the Google Play Store. Now what we're going to do is we're going to copy the directory of this folder that has just popped up with our file. Now if it didn't pop up then you can find the uh, exported Android Studio project here in this directory. So you just copy that. And now we are going to hop on to Android Studios. I'm using the latest version which is 4 point something or other. And we are going to up open an existing project because the thing that was just exported by Armory was a project for Android Studio 4.12. And I'm going to open it here and in this um, search search bar I'm going to paste the directory of the file and as you can see 007 which is the name of our app that we call it and we're going to click OK and it's going to open it now warning depending on your internet connection this can take a while the most important thing to look at is this right bottom bar here we have the Gradle build which is running and we have a bar that will be going across now this is um, it's going to take a while the first time you do this uh, in to explain this, uh, Google Play Store has. What am I talking about? Android Studios has to download all the dependencies to read your Army 3D exported file, your game. And uh, the first time you do this, it can take a long time to download all those different libraries and modules and things like that, whatever the hell it downloaded. So, while you're waiting, take a coffee. Depending on your internet connection, this will take quite a while. In my case, I was around 500 KBs, which is half a megabyte second. And it was uh, about two to three hours before it had finished processing. Uh, depending on your internet connection, obviously, it will be anywhere from five to half an hour, or maybe even six hours, I don't know. Uh, the point is, this can take quite a while. And so just sit back and relax and just don't close it down and reopen it because you just, why, why would you do that? You're not a screaming child anymore. Don't rage. Just be patient. And here you have the basic structure that you might or might not be familiar with, which is the basic Android Studio structure. We have our manifest here, which is one thing that I look at because it has the name of your app, which would be there. And also I look at, make sure the SDK version here is set to 29 and if that is good well you don't even need to check that it will be good and the point is you are going to create a signed APK or an app bundle now the reason people are so on about app bundles nowadays is because uh, Google Play Store likes app bundles because <laughs> it saves on data which obviously saves on plays on their servers which obviously saves on the amount of money that they has to spend also saves on the amount of tons of things like that and it's more ecological so we're going to generate a signed APK now you can only access this build function with all these different things once your Gradle has finished building don't try to cancel it if not you'll ruin everything so you're going to click click on signed APK or app bundle and we have an Android app bundle here that we are going to click on because it's what is recommended nowadays. Everybody's pushing it. But if you want to test this uh, game on your device, you will have to set it as an APK. Or if you really did want to just test this game on your device, then I would highly suggest you go check out my previous video on how to build an APK file directly with Android Studio, with Army 3D I mean, uh, because it saves the hassle of going through another software to export your game. And I have pro provided an, uh, a link to download the latest or the best SDK that you would need to build it. So now we are going to select the Android app bundle and press next. And we are going to be prompted to create a new key store. As you can see, key store path. We're going to create a new key store. 
we're going to set the keystore path to something I'm actually going to paste the location of my game and I'm going to press uh, file name and I'm going to call it arm 007 <laughs> I don't know why I'm so obsessed with 007 I don't even like James Bond that much and we are going to press OK we're going to set the password to whatever you want I'd like to just keep the same password for like every single app bundle because it doesn't really matter. Oh, finger went wrong. Yeah. <sighs> okay. And we're going to set the file name to whatever the hell you want. It really doesn't matter. I honestly do this. I, I actually keep it like this and upload it to the place so it doesn't matter. And once we have that, press OK. We should. Yeah, we get an error. It says blah blah blah, don't care, yes. And we're gonna press next. We're gonna set it to release. We're gonna press finish. And we have our great old building running here. And as soon as it's done, open the event log. As soon as it's done, we should have a pop up here saying um, your file has been exported and a locate button um, in blue that you will be able to click on and it'll open up your AAB bundle file. AAB bundle file, say that 10 times fast. So, while we wait, I can tell you about my game jam, yay! I'm gonna make another video about that and I'm gonna upload it in a few hours, yay! And you can go check it out in the link in the description below and you can go check out the video that I will make, promise. Probably, maybe. Uh, yeah. It's been a long day, honestly. Ah, yes, and while you're also waiting, and I'm waiting too, uh, you can also go find my, if you have an Android device, you can go find my app on the Google Play Store. This app is a, a bunch of tutorials, oh, it mainly, mainly contains a tutorial series, but I'm also going to upload written tutorials and um, screenshots of uh, note trees and all that sort of cool things as well as uh, source codes and source files and source projects, whatever. And uh, it's, it's going to be fun, hopefully, for whoever downloads it, because there will be a bunch of premium stuff that I'll put on there for free. And it also helps me out because I did put two free ads on there, that way they're mostly banner ads, and they don't really annoy that many people, I hope. And it also really helps me out, you know, money-wise, because, you know, you don't get paid for doing video tutorials for, like, 60 people. So it would be much appreciated if you go check it out if you do have an Android device. If you don't, then, uh, well, please just subscribe to help me out that way. And, uh, well, I hope this tutorial was very useful. I'm still waiting it for it for it to build. And I'll see you uh, as soon as it is done. I'm just going to pause the recording. Okay, it's done! We have successfully created our, well, my first uh, Gradle build, Gradle build? Signed bundle, signed AAB, signed, oh god, we've made it, yay! So, now when we click on it, we should get the famous locate button, and once you do that, you should get this AAB file, and this file would then be uploaded to the Google Play Store. Now, it's only 5 megabytes which is pretty awesome for an entire game uh, 5 megabytes from Android from I'm 3D so yes this is the end of the tutorial officially and uh, thank you very much for so yeah if you enjoyed this tutorial and learned how to um, build an AAB file that can be uploaded to the Google Play Store then well clap your hands and congratulate yourself because it took you a lot less longer than it took me probably and so, thank you very much for watching, like I said, if you want to build an signed, AA, um, signed APK file, then you'll just generate a signed APK file. The steps are exactly the same. I believe a building an APK file takes twice uh, less long, because this took me forever, it took like 20 minutes. Then again, it is the first time I've actually built an, built an AAB file in Android Studios, uh, so maybe it's just me, but probably takes less long build an APK file but then again it does compress everything using the AAB so thank you very much for watching this tutorial 
and like I said if you have any problems whatsoever you can contact me directly in the comment section I reply to every single comment I mean it's not like that I have, have that many people watching my videos so uh, like I said thank you please like comment subscribe if you have any problems or suggestions then hook me up